What's going on everybody, Cigar Show Tim here and you're watching another episode of Tobacco Talk where I review a cigar and then I give you my thoughts on it. Flavor, draw, construction, burn, everything you want to know about that cigar but it's from my pal's perspective and then I rate it as to whether I think it's nub worthy or not. So the cigar for this review comes from Dunbarton Tobacco and Trust from Steve Saka himself. It is the Mi Querida Ancho Largo. It is a Toro, it's a 6x52. You can see right here the band on it, right there, Mi Querida. And it is a very like oily but toothy wrapper on it and it's just oily 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 very oily i mean you almost you can feel it on your fingers after you are you know done touching the cigar and everything so well if we're going to check out the cigar there's only one way to do that let's light it up Okay, so I went with the baller cut like I've done recently quite a bit. You can see that there. Let's get some cold dry notes on this cigar. Dark, rich earthiness, dark, rich earthiness. A little bit of like cocoa chocolate. And like a spicy dried fruit combination. Well, let's toast it up. Okay, upon initial light up, you get that spice that's in there. Get some black pepper spice. Starts as a real subtle white and then quickly gets to a black pepper. Definitely get some leather, really strong leather in this one. And that rich earthiness is very much there still. So, all right, I'm gonna jump on the first third. And when I come back, I'll let you know what the blend on the cigar is, what I think about it, and any bit of information that, well, I may have learned. All right, let me show you the burn here at the end of the first third. As you can see here, it is a little bit wavy, not perfectly straight, but look at how it's just stacking those dimes. Look at that ash, hold none. Doing really well. Set it down there. And the ash just fell off. Fortunately, not on me. So when we look at this cigar, let's look at the blend on this. It's got a Mexican San Andres wrapper on it and the binders and fillers are all Nicaraguan. So if you wanna know what Ancho Largo means, you can do a quick search on the internet, whether it be Google or whoever it may be. And it will tell you that Ancho Largo just means width and length. So that's what this cigar means, width and length. It's a Toro, it's a six by 52, as I mentioned at the beginning, uh, but that's the blend on it. Let's get into the flavor notes of the cigar. So as I'm going through it, there are some really unique flavor notes that came up. That earthiness was absolutely still there. And uh, there was this really unique note that came in and I like stopped and stared at the cigar for a second. It was peppermint. So there's the pepper spice, there's the rich earthiness, there's a little bit of coffee espresso on the long finish, but there's a very, very distinct peppermint note on this cigar that's really, really enjoyable. And I thought, okay, it's gonna go away, it's gonna disappear, you know, in a second, in two seconds, whatever it is. And to my surprise, it has stayed around through the entire first third, and I've really, really enjoyed it. So that's the blend on it, that's the flavor notes. The draw on it is a little bit snug, but overall it is not doing bad at all. And strength right now, I'd put this at a medium minus. It's not super strong. I can tell that it's probably gonna ramp up a little bit, especially knowing most of Steve's cigars, but we'll see what happens and uh, we'll go from there. So I'll come back at the second, third, and yeah, let's see if I can find any more fun information for you. All right, let me show you the burn here at the end of the first third. You can see the burn there. If I get it in focus, there we go. I did have to touch it up. You can see right there where there's a little bit of a darker spot. It did get pretty uneven in its burn. You can see it's still not perfectly even, but I touched it up because it was just starting to canoe a little bit and I didn't want to take away from the experience, but the ash holds on really, really well. Okay, flavor notes here in the second third. 
the earthiness is still the most prominent flavor note in there and that peppermint has stuck around. It's been really interesting because the peppermint has gotten to more of like a candy sweetness peppermint in there, which is really, really enjoyable. And the cocoa note is very subdued, but it's there. And on the long finish, there's some really nice creaminess that's in the cigar. So it's very good. But the pepper has ramped up to much more of like a, a red pepper spice now. It's getting close to spicery level, but it's not quite there. I can feel it on my palate in the middle of my tongue right now. There's definitely some spiciness that's in there. And <clears throat> it's been really unique with that peppermint in there. I'm, I've been sort of taken aback by it because it's so unique. And I didn't ever expect to have peppermint and sweet peppermint candy-like with earthiness pair so well together. And this cigar is offered in uh, four different Vitolas. When it originally came out, there's a Fino Largo, which is a 6x48. There's an Ancho Corto, which is a 5x52 Robusto. There's the Ancho Largo, which is what this is. This is the 6x52 Toro. And then there's a Muy Gordo Grande, which is a 6x56. So those are the original four Vitolas that it was released in uh, when this came out back. It was released at the 2016 IPCPR, which is now the um pca ipcpr um, has changed names multiple different times but it's pca now with the name of what it is so there you have it the strength on this right now i would say is at a medium to medium plus it is ramping up it's not quite to a, a full strength but it's getting there and i would anticipate that it's probably going to end up there and the draw is actually right where i like it it's opened up some and it is pretty much perfect it's spot on so i'm really enjoying this cigar so there you know a little bit more background on why this Ancho Largo has its name. It's the Vitola and the three other different Vitolas that this originally came out and is offered in. It was released in 2016. So I'm going to jump in and finish the cigar. Tap off the ash. And when I come back, I'll let you know whether I think it's noteworthy or not. And anything else that I think you might need to know. Let me show you the burn here at the end of the cigar as it is down to the nub. You can see there that the burn has done relatively well. It's still got a little bit of a wave to it. Never really burned perfectly straight throughout the cigar. But you can see the smoke coming off the foot quite a bit. And the ash fell off again. So <clears throat> let's talk about the cigar. And as it wrapped up here, let's go through some of the flavor notes. And it's getting hot to hold. Down to the nub. So in the final third here, the cigar, the earthiness was there. Uh, the peppermint there has, has sort of tapered off quite a bit. There's that sweetness that's still in there, but there's not much of a peppermint flavor note left in it anymore. Uh, and the earthiness is there. And there's a really nice creamy note that came in the second third that I didn't mention in the last segment that is definitely prevalent here in the final third as it's finishing off. There's some really nice savory baking spices that are in there as well. I can't pinpoint specifically what it is, but some really savory baking spice notes that are in the cigar as well. So overall, do I think it's noteworthy? Well, when you look at the burn, when you look at everything and you look at the experience overall with the cigar, I would say this is noteworthy. I mean, you look here at the cigar, it is definitely down to the nub right there. And I've enjoyed it. So if you've had this cigar before, it's been out for what seven years now came out in 2016 it's been out uh for yeah seven years now if you've had at least some comments down below what was your experience with it was it similar to mine did you get similar flavor notes uh, the smoke time on this was just shy of about two hours about an hour and 50 minutes was the total smoke time on this so decently slow burn really good the uh, draw on it stayed right where i like it it wasn't squishy hot at the end it did start to get warm but it's just very much down to the nub so it's going to be warm there and the strength on this ended at a good full strength so it's very rich deep full body flavors with full strength on the cigar and i have enjoyed it it is noteworthy so leave some comments down below as to your experience with it and i would love to read them and communicate back and forth and continue the conversation down below in the comments but that's going to do it for this edition of tobacco talk enjoy your cigar journey i'm cigar show tim as always i'll see you